All right, we're going to be talking about Wix and how to create a website today. <laughs> just want to point out, it's a little difficult to get to a particular point in Wix. There's so many different options for getting started, but typically when you create your account, it will start giving you um, the, the prompts for creating your, your website. So, um, and once you've ha got a website or several websites created, then uh, you've got a little bit different interface. So you can always click up here on Wix and it kind of takes you back to the beginning. Um, you can look at your sites if you have multiple sites. So see, I've been playing around with this. I've got Doggy Doggy, My Site One, Dog Walk Edit, JC's Cafe. Uh, eventually you want to get to where you can say, create a new site. And typically it takes you there when you first get into Wix. When you start creating your website remember everything should be free here so if they want you to add a domain like if you want a domain name like doggywalker.com um, you can pay extra for that but you don't have to do that for this so don't connect a domain don't get a domain uh, you should be able to create um, your websites for free when you can publish them it'll have a, a advertising on it and it might have um, yeah, other other elements that you won't have a customized domain name, for example, but uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. But anyway, you don't have to upgrade or hire a professional or anything like that. So eventually you need to get to a point where you're going to be saying create a new site. So at this point, I've developed multiple sites and here they are, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and create a new site. And. You can skip these things. If you notice in the bottom right hand corner, there's a skip, but sometimes they're, they're pretty helpful. Uh, what you can do here, for example, I'm going to create a dog walking service. I know nothing about walking dogs, but these are services that, you know, you can contract with people and they can go walk your dog once a day uh, along with a bunch of other dogs and your dog is more social socialized and so forth. And so I'm just going to pretend like I'm, I'm want to start, start this business called a dog walking business. So uh, I can do a search here or I can choose from this list. I'm just going to say dog and then you can see there's different things dog breeder dog sitter uh, dog sitters would be you know where you they, they get people to uh, take care of you can get people to take care of your dogs for a weekend or something like that so i want to do a dog walker you're going to be a dog walker where you walk people's dog for them for a fee so i'm going to click next and again i can skip if i want to but i'm going to go ahead and click next and um <clears throat> What's the name of the business? I can skip again if I want to. I'm just going to say JC's dog walking, dog walkers. How's that? And then I'm going to click next. Okay. Now at this point, it, it's, it's, there's so many options that I think it's easier to, because these are things you can add to your, to your website and it's going to try to do that up front like forms music video and so forth and it's really hard to know what you want up front so i'm just going to actually skip this and not do this okay instead of clicking next i'm going to skip it okay so i, I can do a couple of things here this let me explain this because this is kind of important because you won't see um, the right interface if you don't do this uh, correctly uh, i can go to go to my dashboard and we'll talk about dashboards in a little bit but these two choices over here begin with a template and it'll give you, you'll see what I'm talking about, because that's what we're going to do is begin with a template. But this right here, if you get a custom built site, it'll take you through a series of questions and it uses AI to kind of generate a website for you, which is pretty nice. And it's pretty simple. It's a great way to get started. But once you've got that, it's it's um, it's not real easy to play around with. And so I'm going to go ahead and begin with a template. OK, so I click on begin with a template <clears throat> and then. Um, it's it's because I entered dog walker earlier. Um, it's I can pick a website template for related to dog walking, but of course I can change this. It really doesn't matter. I can put you know if I want to have an artist. I'm a, maybe I'm, I'm a painter and I want to put my portfolio in here. I can put that that stuff here and I can search for those. These are dog walker results. Okay, so um, there's all these choices up here, and so it's kind of fun to look around and see what you want to do. But I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of zip through these a little bit. And one of the things to know is that all of these are fully customizable. So this picture right here, you can once you choose this template, uh, you can change the pictures. You can change all the text. So uh, same here, same here. But it's a good play around with and, and kind of get a, a starting point. So you can go to each one of these, for example, I can view it and see what it looks like. So I might uh, try try dog daycare and see if that I like that. I'm going to view it. 
and then you can kind of play around with it to see what it looks like. Uh, you know, you can click about boarding and daycare. You can see how it looks, for example, in a, in a mobile environment. That's one thing I really like about Wix is uh, you don't have to redesign it for mobile. Different size screens are really, it was a really difficult thing to do. Um, it, it, when you were a website designer, you had to really kind of do completely different websites um, for mobile users, tablet users, desktop users, really according to the size of the screen. It's really difficult. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to, um, if I want, if I like this, I can do edit this site. Otherwise, I'm going to click close this. I'm going to go back. And why don't we just choose like this one right here? I'm going to, I'm going to, I can view it or again, play around with it, but I'm going to click edit and that means i'm editing this template it'll be my template and that's what i'll end up saving so it takes a second and you'll see eventually it'll come back up and you're in the website uh editor right now let's open a new tab hopefully it'll, it'll come up fairly rapidly okay so um okay i'll let it finish Okay, so let's familiarize ourselves with this environment here, this interface, because it's a little complex. Okay, over on the left hand side, you'll see menu choices. And right now it identifies all of those. Eventually these these boxes right here will disappear. It's just trying to get you started on these. You can add elements, add sections and so forth. We'll come back to these because um, I want to, uh, to come up here to the top first and show you. First of all, you can choose between mobile or desktop. So if you want to see how it looks on mobile, you click here. And right now you're editing. We're in, we're in an edit mode. We're not in a preview mode and you can see how it's going to look in mobile. You can scroll up and down and through that uh, and edit it in mobile. I like to edit in desktop view because there's a few more things you can do. It's a little easier to see, uh, a little easier to edit. <clears throat> so while we're here, uh, let me point this out here. You never need to upgrade because that's costly. You can save this, but it will auto save as you go as well. But this is where you can give it a name and so forth. Excuse me. But I like to go here to preview. And preview will allow you to see what the website's going to look like. So you can see it's got, this is in desktop mode. So I can click on each of these and I can see here's the home. If, I, if that's the first thing you'll see in desktop mode. Here's about. And all of these are customizable. Uh, here's the services we offer. Our clients contact information and then here's how we can book online so all this is you're just in preview mode okay uh, and all of these things are going to be editable okay i'm going to go back to at this point i could go ahead and publish this and it would be available out on the internet um, but i'm going to wait on that i'm going to go back to the editor don't worry if you do publish it because it's it, you're never going to get picked up by the search engines and so forth people will have to kind of know your your web address and we'll talk more about that later so if you do publish it no big deal uh, but I'm going to go back to the editor. And so we're back to where we started. And again, if I wanted to preview it in uh, mobile mode, I would click here and I'd go over here to preview. OK, so let's talk about what we've got here. We've got our basic web page and you can see if you scroll down. Why is it not letting me scroll down? Always something in it. Um, Okay, I'm, I um, so at this point I, I clicked on something over here. I'm not sure what happened, but uh, I should be able to scroll up and down and see the website. So each of these sections here are actually uh, pages as well. So let's talk about this left hand side over here. Um, each one of these are yeah. Let's go to the left hand side. You can add elements. For example, you could add a button, and the button could be something like new, shop, join us, and you can attach like for example a link to each one of these buttons, call us and other information. You got different kinds of buttons, but these are all things you could add to it. So this different elements you could add. It's very, there's a ton you can do here. So my trick here that I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to have to navigate here without showing you too much where you get lost in all the details. Uh, so I'm going to skip through uh, all these others. I'm going to go straight to pages and menu. So this will show you all the pages that you have, right? You have the home page. That's where we're on now about. Notice you have the same things across here. These are our, our web pages that are part of our web site. So you can go to any one of these 
and you can edit those. There's there's more. Uh, there's a little more button over here. You can change uh, information about that. You can rename it. You can hide it. Sometimes that's helpful. Just hide some of these things till you're ready to edit them. You can create sub pages. You can delete them. So I'm going to go uh, to, to home here, though. I'm going to click back out here in the middle. And at, at this point, we can edit this particular um, web, uh, this particular web page that we're at. So I'm going to uh, to start editing a few of these things. So I'm going to, um, for example, I can I can click on this column and I can change the column background. Sometimes it's hard to tell what's a background and what's the foreground, what's a picture that's on top of it. But in this case, notice there's two columns, so I can manage my columns. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Um, I'm going to change my column background. And so look, it's um, I, I've got some different things I can use for the column background. Notice is this woman with a dog that's in the background. Now I can add other things if I would rather have something else in the background. Um, let's see, there's a search here someplace. Hey, where's the search? I choose an image. I clicked on choose an image. And so I can search for uh dogs for example and this is really nice because you don't have to have your own pictures you can upload your own pictures if you want to um, but it's so nice that that uh, wix has all of these pictures available to you and you can even get more stuff from uh these um stock art places that uh, they can sell you some but wix has agreements with them as well so i can do different categories right but i can search for dogs and if this does, um, I can choose different things I want from my background. So I don't spend too long here, but why don't I just grab um, uh, this one since I'm a dog walker. I'm going to choose that. I'm going to click change background here. Just one second. Got to close this door. As it is when you're recording, there's always noises happening outside. So I'm back. Don't worry, don't worry. So now notice I've changed this. I can also come over here and I can click on this one. And I can um, I can uh, edit the text and I can say, hello, I'm Jim and I am an expert at, or maybe I love all animals. OK, so this is all editable. You can change the fonts and so forth and so on. I can add special effects, but I'm just going to leave it like it is. OK and click off of it. All right, so now I've, I've kind of gotten started. Let's preview what we got again here. I'm going to click preview. And again, I'm in desktop. I thought I was editing the contact. Oh, well, I, the, the column over here, I didn't. Evidently, I didn't edit the text that was in that column. But anyway, you can see I've still got all these other things that I can edit and play around with. Um, but um, I'm going to go back to the editor for a minute. And so I can continue editing however I want to. Remember, the main thing here is these are the pages that you go to. These are your web pages. You come here and you can select them and uh, do things with those. OK, so I'm ready to I can save this if I want to. I'm going to click Save and notice that it's going to be called uh, KamekJE.Wixsite.com, my site. I'm going to call this JC, um, JC Dogs, Dog Walker. OK, so um, JC Dog Walker, and then I'm going to save and continue. So notice when you turn this in, for example, it's going to be KemakJE or whatever yours is, dot Wixsite.com forward slash, and then the name of your, I didn't, I didn't end up saving it. What did I say? JC, J, JC uh, Dog Walker. OK, so I'm going to save and continue. And so now look, it says your site is saved. So I can go back and continue working if I wanted to by clicking edit. I'm going to click done. And then lastly, I want to show you that we can publish this and make it available on the web. So I'm going to go ahead and click publish. And it's pretty much the same thing, but now it's put out on the web. Again, here's the um, here's the, uh, the URL for it. And I'm going to click view site and it will open up the site on the web. So here is uh, the way my site looks right now on the web, right? And so I've successfully created a, a little website. And here's the URL. If you want to take that, that's what I'd like for you to turn in. One of the things I want you to turn in for this assignment. OK, so um, I can go back to the editor if I want to. I can do done and I'm, I'm back in here editing again. 
Um, you can also do this with the, with the mobile uh, and you can go see it in mobile. So um, that's, that's the basics of how to get started. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to stop at that point and um, continue later.